Hello, my name is Lucky Mayo, and we are back. Um, to nothing. Cause I gotta do a new game for. Yep, it's time to finish Phoenix Wright's Ace Attorney. Oh, turn about memories. Am I might gonna be playing as Mia? Fuck it. Fuck it. Ah, how did I get into this mess? Who are you? Why? Why did I do that? Um, that girl. You shouldn't see her anymore. Hey, it's none of your business. I'm telling you for your sake. If you continue to see her, it's gonna be bad news. You're lying. Just listen to me. There's something you need to know about that girl. Stop it! D don't talk about her like that. Oh. Phoenix, what did you do? Phoenix, what did you do? It wasn't me. I, I, I didn't... Jesus. I didn't do it. Seems like you did, Phoenix. Turn about memories. Five years earlier, Mia Fey, second trial. What? I'm playing as Mia? Fuck yeah! Whew, it's finally time. Kinda nervous. Ahem. Hey! Chrisberg! Hey, buddy! Good morning! Ah, oh, Mia, please calm yourself down! You're going to get yourself arrested for suspicious behavior, you know? What are you talking about? I'm, I am relaxed, Mr. Grosberg. Look at me. I'm relaxed. <laughs> Aww. Let me go. Let me let go of my lapels. Hmm. You obviously haven't got the temperament to be a lawyer. But, I, uh, I'm so sorry. It's just that I'm so nervous today. Oh, oh that's right. This is your first time in the big leagues, isn't it? Well, never you fear, my dear. I, Marvin Grossberg, am at your service. Okay. Um, actually, this is my second time in court. Still, you surprised me, what, with your earnest request last night? I just found out yesterday about the case, I mean. What? And you've already learned all the relevant facts? Well, about that, you see, I mean, of course I have, I, I, I think. It's weird to play as Mia for once. I mean, of course I have, I, I think. Oh dear. In any case, don't let our client see you see you're so nervous. You see the poor young man in the pink sweater over there? That's our client. <clears throat> Good morning though, everybody. Oh my god, he's sick. <laughs> Good morning. Try to keep smiling, Mia. I I just wanna say I'll give it all I'll give it all I've got. Yep, it'll be fine, no problem. That's you, that's you. Fuck. Oh, what's wrong? Do you have a cold or something? Mr. Rye? Actually, it's right. Like, the Flying Brothers? People screw it up all the time. 
And yes, I have a cold. That's what this mask is for. It's so weird to see him from this perspective. My doc says this way I won't give it to anyone else. Be kind to others, he says. Right, Mr. Wright, you have nothing to fear in court today. If you are truly innocent, I promise I will save you. P -p Please, l let go of my shirt. <laughs> oh my god, that's right. He's the one on trial, not you. He's the one who should be nervous. <laughs> you need to stay strong for your client, Mia. Oh my god. Humble beginnings. My name is Mia Fey. I'm still pretty new at this lawyer thing. The first time I appeared in court was a year ago. But that trial traumatized me so badly, I thought I'd never set foot in another courtroom. It's been one year since then. How old is she then? Now that I can finally see her. Or not. Oh. At least it's not murder, right? Hey, he was my age when he was, uh... Yeah, that's cool. It's been one year since then, and well, here I am again. But this time, this time I'm gonna win. She lost. For my clients, and for myself. It's so weird seeing Phoenix from this perspective. April 11th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Court is now in session for the trial of Phoenix Wright. Oh my god, it's so weird to see it in this in this way. The, the defense is ready, Your Honor. The pro Ow, pain! The tutorial prosecutor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense today is Miss... Miss... M Mia Fey, was it? Y yes, Your Honor. Is there a problem? I was under the impression that Marvin Grossberg was to be leading the defense. Yes, well, you see, Mr. Grossberg had a, uh, a a bit of an emergency. Emergency? But isn't that him standing there right next to you? Yes, well, you, you're just a rookie. Are you sure you can really handle this? Don't let him scare you. Don't let him scare you, Mia. Give me your toughest look. It's, I don't like, it's so weird seeing her uncertain. Of course, Your Honor. I think. Hmm. Well, Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. Well, well, well. The p ah, hey, he still had hair five years ago, apparently. I can't believe a veteran like me has to spend his time babysitting a new defense lawyer. Well, you're the tutorial prosecutor, so... Don't worry, little girl. It will be all be over soon. And, uh, how old is Payne? 49? Jesus Christ. <laughs> What was that all about? Was he trying to trash talk me? Now then, I'd like to proceed with a summary of events on the day in question. The incident occurred on the campus of Ivy University. The murder victim was a student named Doug Swallow. He was a fourth year student studying pharmacology. Hmm. Sounds like he was a very bright young man. Is he dead? Yes, well, next we have a photo taken at the scene of the crime. Is he dead? Students discovered the scene shortly after the murder. Oh my god, he's dead. They found the victim's body. And the defendant, who had obviously bungled his getaway... They then called the police. Hmm. That certainly makes the defendant look very suspicious indeed. Very well. The court accepts this photo into the record as evidence. I'll get you off in one day, Phoenix, don't you worry. By the way, I can't quite tell the cause of death from this photo. <laughs> Your reputation for Saga City... Saga... Saga... The fuck? Sagacity... The quality of being is sagacious. Well, what the fuck is sagacious mean? Having a shown... Showing keen mental discernment and good judgment. Shrewd. Ah, I see. Okay. Good enough for me. Your reputation for sagacity is well earned, Your Honor. I learned a new word today. The truth that is that this victim died a rather unusual death. An unusual death. The 
the bed, Canelo. Get up on the bed. Dipshit. Okay. What do you mean, Mr. Payne? Well, perhaps the defense would like to take this question. Huh? A simple question. I thought I might loosen you up a bit. I am a genteel man, if you will. If you will. Genteel? Um, a what? Stand up to him, Mia. Show him what you're made of. Ah, perfect opportunity. Well, what was it? The cause. Go on. Please say you know at least this much. I I'm so sorry. I, I didn't get a chance to read through the whole file. Oh, my hemorrhoids are beginning to act up. Now see here. The details of the case are filed under the court record. So they are. Cause of, shock was a cause of death was a fatal electric shock. But you knew that already, didn't you? Ah, the court record. I think I can see that by pressing the R1 button. Of all the weapons we we need can be fa all the weapons we need can be found in the court record. Take a good hard look at the data there and think carefully before you answer, my dear. Y yes, sir. I'll do just that. I've got to stay calm. I can't let that prosecutor get the better of me. The court record. Okay, let's take a look. Just press the R1 button here. Now then, would the attorney for the defense please answer the question? What was the cause of death? Electrocution. According to the court record, it was a fatal e electric shock. In other words, electrocution. Electrocution? But how could such a thing happen? Did the murderer use some type of new super powerful stun gun, perhaps? God, you're so fucking stupid. <laughs> the answer to that will become crystal clear as this trial proceeds, your honor. But before that, there is one more vital issue. W what's that? Why, motive, of course. Apparently, there was some bad blood between the victim and the defendant. Bad blood. W what do you mean? Oopsie, oopsie, I'm terribly sorry. You're the defense attorney, so you must know all about it. I shouldn't be stealing your spotlight like this. I really don't like this guy's smug attitude. That's Winston Payne for you. He is one smooth operator, if you catch my drift. Do I get to go against Von Karma again? They don't call him the rookie, the rookie killer for nothing, you know? I'm guessing this loss caused him to lose his hair. Or is it a toupee? Now then, let's hear from the defense. What was the source of the bad blood between the victim and the defendant? Oh, I know. And this time, I would like to see some supporting evidence. I evidence? Ah, no need to get all worked up over this. As I said, all our weapons can be found in the court record. Find the evidence you need, and then shove it into old... Old Greybeard's face. Y yes, sir. Into Old Greybeard's face. Uh, Mr. Grossberg, try to set a better example for the young lady. I mean, evidence isn't the only thing in the court record. People's profiles are as well. You can toggle between profiles and evidence with the R1 button, so, so be sure to go over it all. Now then, let's see what you've got. What was the cause of bad, the bad belt between Phoenix Wright and the victim? The reason for the bad blood between the two of them was... This woman here. Dahlia ha Hawthorn, Hawthorne, isn't it? Very good, Miss Faye. You seem to have picked up on at least this much. He's a fucking asshole. This woman is the girlfriend of the defendant, Phoenix Wright. But up until about eight months ago, she was with the victim, Mr. Swallow. Clearly, she has some part to play in this story. Hmm. Ah, uh, he's done it again. Before the cross-examination starts, he ar he's already got the judge thinking what he wa like he wants. Very well, Mr. Payne. Please call your first witness. If it pleases the court, the prosecution would like to call Mr. Wright. Would like to call Mr. Phoenix Wright. The defendant himself. Well, Miss Faye, it's fine. After all, Mr. Wright is innocent, right? The defense has no objection. Very well. The court calls Mr. Phoenix Wright to the witness stand. It's so fucking weird to see him like this. Witness, please state your name and occupation. Oh, uh, yes, my name is Phoenix Wright. My job is, um, well, right now I guess I'm a suspect. No, no, he means what did you do before you were arrested? Oh, achoo, achoo, achoo. I was a university student. Mr. Wright? You understand that you are suspected in the death of your fellow student, Doug Sw But, but I didn't do it! I'm innocent, I tell you. I'm telling you I was- Achoo! Achoo! <coughs> achoo! 
Would the defendant please refrain from passing on his cold to the rest of us? It seems the witness is something he wants to say. Hmm, well then, Mr. Wrights, please tell us about your relation to the victim. Right away, Your Honor. Um, I, I admit I was there, but I'm not a killer. I, all I did was find his body. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. I never even talked to that stuck-up British wannabe. Uh, how'd you know he's British, Phoenix? Right, like I said, I'm not a killer. Whew, looks like the judge understands. Mm, you're being naive, you know. Too naive. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like you've forgotten one small thing, young lady. And that would be... This witness still has to undergo something called cross-examination. Cross-examination. He's right, and it's the defense's duty to carry out the cross-examination. How do you not know what the fuck cross-examination is, Mia? Okay, I get it. You're new. You're fresh. The purpose is to determine if a witness is testimony contains any contradictions. Contradictions? If a witness is lying, their statements will conflict with the court record. But Mr. Wright is my client. Even if he is your client, in court, all lies must be struck down. As a lawyer, that is your duty, you see. What does he mean by that? Is he saying that testimony just now that there was a lie? A contradiction? Sorry guys, uh, someone text me. Get it real quick. Now then, your cross-examination, if you please, Miss Faye. Please, Mr. Wright, tell me you haven't been lying. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? It's so weird to see him like this. The victim and I. Um, I, I admit I was there, but I'm not a killer. All I did was find his body. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. Never even talked to that stuck-up British wannabe. Mr. Wright, you stated that the, 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 the you say the following in your testimony. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. Th that's right. I mean, why would I even? But that doesn't sound right. If you hardly knew him, then why would you say that vic the victim was a stuck-up British wannabe? Achoo! <laughs> well, Mr. Wright. Uh, no, it wasn't me. I'm not a killer. I swear. <laughs> He's so fucking clueless. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I will give you an opportunity to revise your testimony. How is it that you knew the victim was, as you put it, a British wannabe? Y yes, well... He was always walking around with a huge Union Jack on the back of his shirt. Well, that explains it. <laughs> Did you see it at the crime scene? The Union Jack, I mean. Yes, th that's right. I saw it at the crime scene. That's why that's that's why I figured he must love British stuff. See? It's true. Cross my heart. I swear I didn't do it. You're sounding mighty suspicious there, bud. He's acting fitter than the salmon I ate last night. May I ask you something, Miss Faye? Yes, Your Honor. What is it? What is it now? Who is this person anyway? This Union Jack fellow. Really? The Union Jack is the name of the United Kingdom's flag. 
Oh, I see. So you mean like the stars and stripes, right? As usual, Your Honor, your insight astounds me. Hey, something just occurred to me. Isn't there something strange about this bitch just now? Mia, there is a contradiction here. M Mr. Grossberg? Quickly now, show that boy you mean business. With evidence, I mean. Okay, okay, Mia, check the court record carefully. Well, my dear, do you think you can manage on your own from this point? Yeah, I got this. One year ago, I was in a courtroom just like this. I can do it. I can handle this myself. You mustn't try to bite off more than you can chew, Mia. I'll be fine. I know what I have to do. Remember, you can always press him to get more information. Oh, and one more thing. When you're gonna get when you're going to state a contradiction, make sure you present some de definitive proof. <laughs> okay, Mia, one more time. From the very beginning of his testimony. Got it. Press everything. When you say there, you mean the place where the victim was murdered. Y yeah, sort of. The place where something happened, anyway. God. Something. You can't hide what happened. We have photographic evidence. Achoo! 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 How'd you get a cold? A anyway, Mr. Wright. What were you doing at the scene of the crime? I thought you said you didn't know the victim, Mr. Swallow. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> it was just a coincidence. We bumped into each other by accident. A coincidence, huh? But I'm not a killer. All I did was find his body. You say you found the body? So who called the police? Huh? Um, achoo! Cough, achoo! <laughs> Unfortunately, it was some other students that notified the police. Other students. That's correct. They were witnesses. Witnesses who saw the defendant standing there next to the body in shock. What? Is this true, Mr. Wright? Achoo! 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 Could you stop sneezing every time you're in a bind? Well, it's true that I was pretty shocked when I found the body, but... but I... I hardly knew the guy to begin with. I never, okay. So, you didn't know his face or even his name, right? Right. Um, well, no. That is, I mean... So, which is it? Did you know him or not? Now see here, you can't avoid answering the question by sneezing all day. Um, well, I guess I did know his name. N news to me? Why didn't he tell me that before? Um... I heard he used to date Dolly. Who is a Dolly person? Ah, yes, that would be the defendant's lover. Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Oh, I see. Young, ah, young love. So bittersweet. But that's all I knew about him. Okay. I never even talked to that stuck-up British wannabe. Alright, well, I mean... Couldn't see the Union Jag on there anymore either. Are you certain you saw the Union Jack? Y yeah, I'm sure. It was right there on his back. Miss Faye, is there some point to this line of questioning? Your Honor, please take another look at the crime scene photo. As you can see, there is absolutely nothing on the victim's back. Hey, wait a minute! He's wearing a leather jacket! The Union Jack was on the back of the t-shirt he was wearing. I was under the impression that you accidentally came across the body. But if that was really the case, then you wouldn't know that, would you? You'd have no idea at all what he was wearing underneath that jacket. Mr. Wright, you've been lying to me. <laughs> God, he's such a bl What the fuck? Me, you made our client cry. Fuck him. Let him, that P on his chest didn't stand for Phoenix anyways. I can't believe I trusted him. Mr. Wright was all wrong. Ha! <laughs> that was an impressive bit of cross-examination. Thank you for uncovering the defendant's lies for me. Oh, shit. It's quite clear that this man did not simply stumble upon the scene of the crime. Uh... Uh-oh. 
Did I go too far? By the way, Mr. Wright, you seem to have a rather bad cold. Have you taken any medicine for it? I, uh, um, yeah, I took some, but... What's the medicine that you took in over-the-counter brand? Called Cold Killer X. Yeah, that's right. It kills colds good. Hey, wait a second. How'd you know I'm a big fan of Cold Killer X? <laughs> Would you happen to have that medicine with you right now? Well, actually, I seem to have lost it somewhere. Ah, shit. Lo he lost it. Does this even have anything to do with the case? Mr. Wright, shall I tell you where your cold medicine is right now? Huh? Your Honor, I'd like you to take a look at another photo from the crime scene. Oh, God damn it. What's this in the victim's hand? It's... It's Cold Killer X. Yes, but even I've got a bottle of Cold Killer X in my apartment. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that argument won't work. There's no doubt as to who this bottle of Cold Killer X belongs to. Especially since Mr. Wright's fingerprints all are all over it. Damn. What? Sensing his murderous intent, Mr. Swallow must have picked up the bottle of medicine. Dropped by Mr. Wright and hid it in his hand. He, his purpose in doing so can only have been to identify Phoenix, his killer as Phoenix Wright. But that wouldn't... Did you die? Did he die immediately, or...? <laughs> Proof of my profession, huh? Okay. His purpose in doing so can only have been to identify his killer as Phoenix Wright. See, it always comes down to something in the hand, doesn't it, Payne? Order! Order in the court! You know what? I'd like to present this photo and bottle as evidence. Very well. The court will accept them into the record. The victim's watch stopped at the time of death. Found clutched in the victim's hand, covered in Wright's fingerprints. Also, the victim's wristwatch was broken. Broken? Yes, it ceased functioning with it when a large wave of electricity passed through it. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have some kind of explanation for all this? Um... This is really bad. Oh, my buttocks. My poor, poor hemorrhoids. Fucking leave, then. Dick. What really happened? Okay. The truth is, I went because he called me. He was in the pharmacology department, so we agreed to meet at 2.45 behind that building. We talked for a bit, and then at around 3, we split up. Then later, when I went back, I found him lying there. I'd been taking Cold Killer X for the last two or three days, but I lost my bottle of it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. Mr. Wright, that's completely different from the testimony you gave previously. I, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I was afraid you wouldn't believe the truth. You'll forgive me if I say I, I hardly find your current testimony any more credible. You're such a dick. Miss Faye, please begin your cross-examination. You got it. Oh, please, Mr. Wright, don't tell any more lies. Was it Mr. Swallow who in indicated you should meet at 2.45? Yeah, and we were both there right on time. Hmm, you said the victim was in the pharmacology department, correct? Yeah, he was studying how to manufacture and improve pharmaceuticals. Everyone called him the alchemist of IVU. An alchemist, I see. I gotta admit, it was a little suspicious. He had a whole laboratory and everything. It was filled with chemicals and strange machines that run on high voltage electricity. Ho oh, ho, how fascinating. He sounds like he was quite an ambitious young man. What do I do? Should I... Maybe I should ask him for more details. Um... Might as well. I was wondering if you could tell us a bit more about the pharmacology department. Well, okay, sure. I don't know all that much, though. A little bit earlier in your testimony, you said something interesting. You said the department uses strange machines that run on a high-voltage electricity. That's right. And, the, and they sure look dangerous. 
And they use non-standard voltages, so there are high voltage cables everywhere. High voltage cables. Yeah, there were electrical poles set up all around the building. The high voltage cables run overhead the roof, overhead around the roof. Finally, I think we're getting somewhere. We talked for a bit, and then at around three, we split up. Okay, um... Okay, um... On the day of the incident, what did you do for lunch? Huh? What? What does that have to do with anything? You can never be too sure. I always eat with Dolly. Just the two of us. Dolly's homemade lunches are just the greatest. Mmm, her mini omelets are magically delicious. <laughs> Ouch. Why did you punch me in the jaw? Oh, I'm so sorry. I just felt like hurting someone all of a sudden. <laughs> I think that's enough for now. So the defendant and the victim met at approximately the time of his death. And the defendant returned to the scene for some unknown reason. I'm not entirely convinced by his explanation about the medicine bottle either. Let me be frank here, Mr. Wright. Your testimony cannot be trusted. What do you mean? I knew it was too much work for a little girl. Hmm. However, there is one mystery that still remains. There is, Your Honor? How the murder was carried out, of course. Just how was the victim electrocuted? I don't believe the murder weapon has, has been produced yet, correct? Well, that is... I... You are correct, Your Honor. So how exactly was Mr. Swallow killed? If I could somehow establish how it was done... Maybe I can still come out of this mess smiling like a rose. Smelling like a rose. Um... Your Honor! Y yes Miss Faye? I believe that if we were to place piece everything together we've heard- everything we've- piece together everything we've heard up until now. We should be able to solve the mystery of how Mr. Swallow died. Uh, that would be most impressive. Quite the brash statement coming from a rookie. But even a beginner like you must understand the basic rules of the court. Yes. An attorney must be able to substantiate their arguments with evidence. Oh, I can. Hmm, of course I know that. Actually, I had totally forgotten about that. Now then, Miss Faye, let me see what you've got. Okay, um, show me how you believe the victim was electrocuted. Um... Was it this? No. Aha! Why so low? As for the cause of death, I this picture captures it quite well. Wh what? But there is nothing that even remotely resembles a murder weapon here. Hmm. I'm afraid the defense is going to have to explain this in a bit more detail. Miss Faye, where exactly in this photo is the murder weapon? You dipshit. Well, naturally, it's right here. That's... That's... What is that? A severed electrical cable, I believe, Your Honor. Remember the testimony we've heard? The machines the pharmacology students use in their exper experiments require high voltage. And because of that, there are special high voltage cables strung up everywhere. So then the high voltage cable... Yes, the high voltage cable is the cause of death. That is the most likely explanation. Hmm. That certainly sounds plausible. Well, Mr. Bain, what do you have to say about this? Well, I believe some praise is in order. Don't toy with me, old man. Now, now, the victim's cause of death may indeed have been a high-voltage cable. However, I want you to think about what that really implies. The only one who had the opportunity to use the cable as a murder weapon was... the defendant. 
He looks so sad. Not much is certainly true. Yes, and that's not all. We have proof. Uh, of course you do. Irrefutable proof that will establish that Mr. Wright was the murderer. You, you do? Well, what is it? His fingerprints. Fingerprints? You mean that the defendant's fingerprints were on something besides the bottle of medicine? Let's take another look at the crime scene photo. As you can see, the victim is wearing a, le a leather jacket. As you, as you may know, leather holds fingerprints quite well. Ah, you mean... Yes, it was quite clearly imprinted on the chest area of the victim's jacket. The palm print of the defendant's very own hand. Wh what? I can think of only one way Mr. Wright could have left a print like that. Intent, intent on murder, he squarely pushed the victim towards the severed electrical cable. Stick a fork, stick a, stick a fork in us. We're done. M Mr. Grossberg? My hemorrhoids never lie. The show is over, Mia. I knew that boy that was guilty the first time I saw him. N no, you're wrong. Mr. Wright is innocent. No further evidence is required to convince me of this man's guilt. Oh, shit. Y Your Honor, at this time, I am prepared to render a verdict in this case. Thank you. I'm scared. <laughs> Do you have something further to add, Miss Faye? Is this what you want, Mr. Wright? You still haven't told us the truth. The whole truth. If you don't say something now, the judge is going to hand down his verdict. But, but I... I can't. I just, I just can't say it. If I told you what really happened, then I'd be... It's okay, Mr. Wright. I'm your attorney. You can trust me. But, Miss Faye? No matter what it is, you have to say, I believe in you, and I'll represent you to the very end. <laughs> Fuck you, Payne. We've already established the defendant's guilt. There's no further need for him to say anything. Cough, cough. W wait a minute, Mr. Wright. I I'll tell you what really happened. But I've already told you, Mr. Wright, there's no need for further... I, 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 I did it. You what? I admit it, I pushed him. It's my fault. My f fault that Duck Swallow is dead. You pushed him. That girl, you shouldn't see her anymore. Hey, it's none of your business. I'm telling you for your sake. If you continue to see her, it's gonna be bad news. Y you're lying. Just listen to me. There's something you need to know about this about that girl. Stop it. D don't talk about her like that. You pushed him. What you just said was that the truth? Y yes, I I was afraid. Afraid that if I told the truth, everyone would think I was the murderer for sure. Well, as things currently stand, we're all absolutely convinced you are. But please, please give me one more chance to explain. This time I swear, I swear I'll tell the whole truth. It'll be okay, won't it, Miss Faye? I... I have you. <laughs> oh, um, so th thank you. I still can't believe it. He really did push the victim. Oh, it feels like my hemorrhoids are doing the Harlem Shake. <laughs> First of all, the Harlem Shake was a 2013 thing, and this game originally came out in fucking 2000. Whatever. When I push the victim. 
That guy, he was talking bad about Dolly. I lost my temper and gave him a shove. At that moment, I heard some kind of loud noise. A little while after I left, I started to get worried. So I went back, but he, he was just lying there. Dead. Well, the explanation is really quite simple. When you pushed him, Mr. Swallow flew back and touched the electrical cable. He died from the shock, and that, as they say, is that. Hmm, a simple explanation indeed. At the time of the incident, a light rain had been falling. Wet from the rain, the victim was more easily electrocuted. But, but, when I pushed him, there, was, there weren't any electrical cables nearby. What? If there had been something like that, even I would have noticed it. That's true. Even a doofus like him couldn't miss that. <laughs> That's kind of mean. Hmm, Miss Faye? Let me warn you right now that if your cross-examination doesn't yield any new facts, I intend to deliver my verdict without further delay. Are we clear on that? Y yes, Your Honor. Don't give up, Mia. If he is innocent, there must be some kind of evidence somewhere that will prove it. They're really making me work for this not guilty verdict. When I pushed the victim... A loud noise. And what would you say that loud noise was, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but it was really loud. It was like snap. You know, come to think of it, I wonder what what, what I wonder what that was. <laughs> oh fuck off. Clearly really your honor was the sound of the victim being electrocuted. You're not qualified to decide that. What should I do? I'm treading on some dangerous ground here. Mr. Wright, that loud noise you heard may be extremely important. So try to remember what it was. Um, how do I put it? It was like a sharp crack. Aha! Could it, could it have been... Yes, could it have been? Hurry up and tell us. When I pushed him, he dropped the umbrella he was holding. Oh. He fell right on top of it, and it broke. That was probably the noise I heard. An umbrella, huh? And did that umbrella belong to the victim? Yeah, it was a plastic umbrella. Cheap and frail. Kind of like the owner. <laughs> Again, I wish I had any kind of umbrella. I was totally soaked to the bone. Hmm, Miss Faye? What do you think? Is there something important in that testimony just now? Um, well... Of course it's important. This is it, Mia. The new information you've been waiting for. Of course it's important. No, this chief umbrella is more than important. It's vital. I want to officially have it entered into the testimony. Ha! <laughs> How perfectly fitting. Flimsy information for a flimsy lawyer. Oh, fuck you. This guy's a dick. The court agrees to the defense's request. Witness, please add the bit about the chief umbrella to your testimony. Just by the umbrella from the very beginning. Come on, if I had mentioned that, it, I would have been able to counter the prosecution's arguments earlier. What, what do you mean by that? Take another look at the crime scene photo. According to Mr. Wright, victim, the victim fell on top of his umbrella. However, if you look closely, the umbrella is nowhere near the victim. Actually, it's by the electrical pole. You're absolutely right. The conclusion here is obvious. After the defendant left, the victim moved from where he fell. In other words, after he was pushed by the defendant, Mr. Swallow was still alive. No! 
Order, order, order! The victim, he moved? Mr. Payne, that the umbrella in this photo, where is it now? Well, well, it was collected by the police at the crime scene. I want to present it as evidence immediately. Fuck yes. Owned by the victim, found broken in an electrical pole at the crime scene. Umbrella added to the court record. But, but the umbrella could have simply been blown there by the wind. According to the testimony, the victim fell on top of the umbrella. There's simply no way it could have been blown there by the wind. I know this matter of the umbrella seems relatively trivial, but as long as the smallest doubt remains, I cannot render final judgment. No! Sorry, bud. Rookie killer, my ass. I must find, I must say I still find it hard to believe that a huge hole has been blown in the prosecution's case by the defendant's testimony. Yeah, he should have brought that up earlier. The victim fell on top of his umbrella. There was a loud sound when this happened. Well done, Mia! <laughs> what are you laughing at now, dipshit? What are you chuckling about? Pardon me, Your Honor. I, it seems I was expecting too much of a free ride. I was foolish. It was foolish to think I could establish guilt through cross-examination alone. I'm afraid I don't follow what you're saying. Let me guess. You have another witness. Exactly. And this witness's testimony will be incontro incontrovertible. Well, who is this witness? Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Uh, of course. Dahlia Hawthorne. You don't mean... Dolly. I do, Your Honor. The defendant's very own lover is a witness to the whole thing. That's right. She was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Damn. I'm sorry to break the bad news to you, my dear. Oh, shit. Bad news? You couldn't be more wrong. Oh my god, I love how confident she looks. <laughs> Actually, I've been waiting for this. You can't be serious. Mia, what do you mean by that? I think this is a good point for us to stop at. Court will now enter a 20 minute recess. Afterwards, we will continue to listen to the testimony of Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. April 11th, 11.52 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. What's up, dipshit? Miss Faye, I, I'm sorry about what happened back there. I... I... It's alright. At least you told us the truth in the end, Mr. Wright. Yeah, so I guess I can start to relax then, huh? Relax, my boy. You can't be serious after hiding such important facts. But... But... But the next witness is my dolly, right? She'll save me. I just know she will. Why do you think that? Huh? What do you mean? She... She's the love of my life, that's why. The love of your life, huh? Would you mind telling me more about you and, uh, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne? Sure, no problem. Dahlia and I, we first met about months ago, right here in this very courthouse. Actually, I'm starting to be a lawyer, on the side anyway. One day, she and I just bumped into each other in the reading room downstairs. That's why I really think it was fate that brought us together. As soon as I first set eyes on her, I knew she was the one for me. Oh, here, take a look at this. She gave me this she gave this to me the day we met as a symbol of our love. She had been wearing it around her neck that day, but then she took it off, but before she gave it to me, she said, I want you to carry this. So she gave it to you as a present, I see. This daring, this darling little bottle is filled with memories of my darling little dolly. It certainly is a little bottle, all right. It makes me so happy. I show it to everyone I meet. Oh, so sweet. I want to share my happiness with the whole world. Dolly is present, borrowed from Phoenix Wright. Um. Anyway. So after that, you and Miss Hawthorne start dating. Yeah, but she's so shy. Every time I see her, she's always she always says the same thing to me. Please give it back now. Oh God. What a strange girl asking for a present back like that. By the way, Mr. Wright, the day you first met Dahlia Hawthorne eight months ago, it wouldn't happen to have been on August 27th, would it? Huh? Y yeah, it was, but how did you... This happened on August 27th, right here in this courthouse. What's this, a newspaper clipping? Let's see. Murder in the courthouse. 
Murder? What are you reading there? Let me see that. Oh, I see. Media, I think I understand what you're trying to say. And I think I understand why you suddenly took such a keen interest in this case. You believe there is some connection between these two cases, am I correct? Damn. I hope you don't mind, Mr. Grossberg. I... I need to finish this myself. Ah, yes, but I'm afraid what you have will not be enough, my dear. I'll go and have a look in the downstairs reading room and see what else I can find. Th thank you. I want to do whatever I can to be a help of help to you, Mia. Well, it looks like recess is about over. We'd better all get moving. And I will do that next episode, because I think I'm about... Because I'm going to try to shorten these out as much as I can. Till next time, my name is Lucky Mayo, and I'm signing off. Well, it looks like recess is about over. We might as we better all get moving. I guess so. That recess sure seemed longer than 20 minutes, though. Motherfucker.